over here. Over here. No, over over here. Not not down there. No, not over there either. Oh yeah, that's a good place to look. I definitely am there. Oh oh, so close. It's so far away. Nope, still over here. You're getting colder, colder, ice cold, and Arctic. And yep, better look around, because I'm definitely not right over here, right in front of you. Oh, you are special, aren't you? Are you bored? Do you lack friends? Are you starting to look like your couch? Then you need a balloon friend! With your new balloon friend, you can enjoy hours of endless entertainment with a friend that'll never leave you. You can cuddle with your balloon friend. You can even make out with your new balloon friend. And best of all, with some simple maneuvers, you can even alter your voice with your new balloon friend. Hello? <laughs> This is too funny. Oh, that was fast. Hello? Oh my god, that is really high. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How are you guys not so entertained by this? I mean, I would buy this. If this was a real product, I would buy it. Oh, it is. <laughs> Let's just go buy another one. Buy yours today! I knew as soon as I looked up what the vlog was going to be for this week, I knew I was going to have trouble with it because I'm not a very sentimental person. Let me explain that better because that sounded really bad. I don't like to put a lot of emotions or feelings into objects, if that makes sense. Like, I'd rather cherish the people in my life rather than objects. Like, sure, an object might give me a memory of something, but it's not the object giving me that, it's the people that were around me with that object, or the people that gave me that object, you know, stuff like that. You know, like, at the beginning of school years, when teachers hand you out, like, surveys to, like, familiarize yourself with your classmates or whatever that are really stupid and everyone hates? There's always a question that's like, what is one object that is most important to you in your life? And I never know what to put for those. So I just end up putting something stupid like, oh, the, 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 Oh, the the rock I got for my first girlfriend in kindergarten that I used in my Rube Goldberg. I don't actually feel anything special with this. I was in kindergarten when we went out. But there are a lot of foods that remind me of like times of the year that I really like, like Christmas. Like, oh my gosh, I can't drink hot chocolate without thinking of Christmas. I even, I drink hot chocolate like the entire year through and it always makes me think of Christmas and Christmas is my favorite time of year. <sighs> this supposed to be a wistful sigh like I'm reminiscing. If this was a movie there would be like some fuzzy lines going into a flashback or something. I also drink iced tea a lot and all year round and it always makes me remember or not really remember but like think of like in the late 90s slash early 2000s when I was but a wee little lad of like five and six and seven when like summer girls by lfo was a big song and so it was still my sunshine by lynn and i was like playing out in the street with all the other kids on the block we were just having a good time it makes me think of stuff like that typical 90s scene and i will talk about how much i hate people who say "Ooh, i'm a 90s kid in a whole nother video because that i can rant about that forever also whenever i eat clam chowder i always think Back to a restaurant that I went to in Santa Barbara that had the best clam chowder ever. So every time I eat clam chowder, I'm like, man, it's just not as good as that place. Nothing will ever live up to that. I think it was called, like, Longboards or something. So, you know, if you live in California or in Santa Barbara area, go to Longboards because it will be the best clam chowder of your life. That's all for me this week. Bye.